to the other one Luna channel. On today's video, I'm going to be boxing here and out the other one. This is by the designer Lang and Popmart. We can see for the packaging that we have this simple cardboard packaging. On the top, it has an emboss that says the other one by Lang. And on the side of the box, we just have very simple details. I really like, however, how on the front it has this style of opening where you have to unwind the string to open up the packaging. I think that's a really cool twist. This series definitely has a distinct style that's separate from other Popmart blind boxes. And you can see on the side we have hand-drawn characters. So instead of the typical drawings or pictures of all of the different options, you can see that each one has been drawn as just a simple black outline. The characters definitely look like they were pulled from a book. So I think this is a really nice touch. However, it is a bit hard for you to see all of the different characters. So I'm going to put up a picture instead so that you can see all of the different options and you can see what the actual figures look like instead of the drawings. So to start, we have the ghost. This is the one I want the most. It is so cute. I really, really hope we get the ghost. Then there's also the crow, which again is really cool. And then we have the marionette. The marionette is super, super creepy. I really hope we don't get that one. I think that's the only one I don't like. I'm not a fan of Pinocchio or marionettes. I find them just really creepy and not my jam. I only have four boxes of these, so we're not going to get them all but I hope we get some really good ones. These are all really beautiful. I'm excited for quite a lot of them. I think it would have been fun to get the full case for this one, but I didn't think I needed it, so I held back and only got four. So hopefully I'm happy with the four that I got and not sad with who we get out of the 12. And on the side of the box, it doesn't say whether there's a hidden edition. So what I'm gonna do is I will put up a picture now if there is a hidden edition. Let's go ahead and open up the first box though. I'm really excited. Maybe we'll unbox this one on the end here. This one got really banged up in transit, which is why it won't look like the other ones because it just has that little thing there. So let's open this one up first and see. So I don't know if we're gonna have a traditional bag inside or not. Oh. Actually, if you open this up, you do still have a pull tab like a typical box. So even if this comes undone, the figure isn't spoiled. So let's rip this pull tab. Oh, this is really hard to pull. Ooh, I'm having to use a lot of strength to get that off. And let's open this up. Oh, this is really glued. <laughs> this one is not very easy to open. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm definitely having a lot of trouble with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and pull it out. And the card is coming out too, so I'm just shoving that back down so we don't get spoiled. And here we have the bag inside, and it is a paper bag. This is really nice. I kind of wish Pop Mart would do this more. It definitely might be better for the environment to have these in paper bags because you can recycle these. I'm pretty sure most places would recycle these. This is actually really nice. I definitely would be excited if Pop Mart implemented that change in the future and did all paper bags instead of plastic. And I love how we have Hirano, the other one on the front. So cute. So let's see what our figure inside is. So one, two, three. Look at his face. He is not happy. Oh, that's okay. We're going to get quite a few that probably are going to be like that. He does have a bear backpack in the back, which I think is adorable. And I just love the expression. This one is so cute. And let's have a look at the card next. So we have Vagrancy. The card is just really simple. It looks like it's supposed to be a letter being mailed to somebody. And it looks just as sad on the card. I really like the drawing on it though. It's so well done. So we have our first here now and this one looks so cool. The amount of details and the shading that's happening on this figure are really nice. And if we have a close look up of the figure, we can see it's white hair underneath and we can see the eyes. The eyes look like they might be glass or plastic. They look really sad. This figure just shows so much emotion. I think this is such a nice change from Potmer. I really like this style. 
and we have all of the red freckles on the face and it's just wearing a t-shirt that's been patched up and it has the bare backpack we have all the beautiful texturing on the hat there's just so many details even the bear has a ton of details and is stitched up i definitely really like this figure it wasn't one of the ones that i was really excited to get out of all of the options but i still really like the figure and i'm happy to have it in my collection and this series definitely has that melancholy theme running through all of the figures we can definitely see it on this one. So that's the first Here and Now figure that we've unboxed. Let's go ahead and do our second box. So we'll grab this one here on the end and hopefully we won't have as much trouble opening it as we did with the other one. I'm kind of curious if there's a trick to this that I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah, I think these are all gonna be hard to open. Okay. Oh no, this one's glue came apart a bit better. Okay. Pull this out. Oh, this one looks really big. <laughs> you can kind of see it from the side. It is a very flared out. So I think this one's going to be a very interesting in terms of the shape. Let's go ahead. Maybe it's sitting down. I think it might be sitting down. One. Oh, we got the ghost. And the ghost is sitting down. So it's not as tall as the other ones. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so excited we got the ghost. This is the one I wanted most. It is just so cute. And I like how this isn't just a simple white. This sheet actually looks really dirty. It kind of has this brush stroke effect with a beigey color. I don't know if you can see it on camera or if the camera is just making it look white, but it's definitely not white. It looks really dirty. I actually instinctively used my hand to see if it was dirt on it. But of course, it's just the series. They are supposed to be just a little bit less than perfect, which I think is amazing. And I really do love that detail. This series has had a lot of thought behind it. And we can see on the bottom, so cute. And it has button eyes as well. And even though there's not a lot of detail to this one, I think it's really good. And I love how you can see the folds of the sheet that's over here now. And this here now has teal hair, which is really cool. And we can see those kind of glass plastic eyes again, which looks so realistic. <laughs> it's really trippy. This one doesn't look as sad. It looks maybe more like it's pouting than anything else. Yeah, he looks like he is pouting, perhaps. I love this ghost. Oh, I'm so excited I got this one. This is the one I wanted most. If I hadn't gotten this out of these four boxes, I definitely would have went ahead and bought more just in the hopes of getting this one. So let's go ahead and have a look at the card. Oh, and I knew this one came with a little ghost. I'm not quite sure why I didn't look in the bag for it, but I did know that this one had a ghost buddy. So let's take this one out. And here we have Hirano's ghost buddy. This one you can definitely see is a lot dirtier looking than Hirano. So I think you can see that detail where the white has been kind of dirtied up with the beige texture. It's really good. And you can see we have a very plasticky balloon on the side of it. And this ghost figure does not look happy at all. That expression is pretty sad. And I don't know if this is the name, but on the bottom it says Yoka. I think that's Yoka. And that might be the name of the ghost friend of Hirano. So we can put those two together. So here we have Hirano, and then we have the ghost friend. And then we have the card, and the card just says the ghost, and I love this drawing as well. Of course, I just thought of it, the ghost one probably is scared. That's probably the expression it's going for. Definitely in this one, I think it shows the scared look a lot more. It looks less pouty and definitely more scared. And we have two more left, so I'm really excited to open it up. I think I'll go for this one here in the middle. And let's see who the third figure is. And there's so many that I want to get. I hope we get one of the raven ones. I really like the raven ones. So I'm hoping this one is one of the ravens. I think that would be so fun and great. <laughs> I think I'm terrible at opening this box though. I haven't figured out the trick for it. 
Oh, and this one has something right at the top. It looks like it's probably a stand for it. So give me a second. I'm gonna try and get out the character without showing you that. And we have the bag here. This one is definitely a lot smaller than the one we got for the ghost. So let's open it up and who did we get? And we got one of the Raven ones. Oh, this one is so, so cool. I absolutely love the raven ones that they have. Or I guess this one looks like a crow instead of a raven. Yeah, this one might be a crow instead of a raven. And I knew we got this one, or at least I knew we got one of the crow ones, because when I had a look at the stand when it was coming out, I could see that it was black. And I assumed that it went with one of the crow ones. And it looks like we have a drum and then like a little tong thing to beat the drum with. Or I guess this would be a gong. It might be like a little hand-sized gong. So let's open this up and we can get this one all set up. So we have the little kind of zigzag lightning looking stand. We have our gong. And then we have our little drumstick. So I was able to finally get the crow set up. It did take a little while to get the gong in the hand. It's not in there super well, but I'm going to do that off camera and maybe have my partner do it because I'm a bit afraid I'm going to break it if I try anymore. But we have it so it's just resting in the hand. And this one is beautiful. I just love how pitch black the crow is. It's just such a nice black matte color. And this hair now has red hair and again it has freckles and kind of that blush cheek that all of them do. And we can kind of see that the crow is actually a hat that it's wearing, much like the bear hat that the first figure, the vagrant we got, has. It sits on the stand really well and I do like this stand. We can see it has that drumstick just sitting nicely in its hand and then we have the beautiful black wings. And then on the other side we have the gong and one thing I did notice when I was trying to attach the gong though is the back of the arms for this one are covered in black paint. It looks like their quality control wasn't too good because this one is very dirty on the back. And not dirty intentionally, but just the black that was supposed to be on the wings has come off on that arm. The wings are really pretty though, and the crow eyes are so beady, and the beak, it's just kind of perfect. It definitely has a vibe to it. I think it looks pretty mischievous, kind of like it's upset, but almost like it wants to pick a fight, I think. Although when we have a look at the card, the card doesn't have the same expression at all for the crow. And I definitely like these cards. I think it's a nice touch and I love the feel of them and the simplicity. I think they're really good and go well with the figures themselves. And we're down to our last box. It goes so quickly when you're doing the same box. So let's take out this one here. And I am gonna have a look at the side just to kind of remind myself which ones that I'm hoping to get. I think I really want Amnesia. I think that's the one I want the most out of these ones. This one would be fun too though. The monster or the fox would be really cool. These two I think would be fun, but yes, I really want Amnesia. Amnesia is also one of the ones I was really excited to get. So I hope we have that one inside, but the monster or the fox instead would be okay by me. So let's go ahead and let's open it up. <laughs> All right, let's see who I got. Oh, this one might be the smallest one we've gotten yet. It's really, really skinny and doesn't look like it has anything that sticks out. So let's go ahead and open it up. And let's see, one, two, three. Oh, cute, we got the one that is sitting down. And I think I felt something inside the bag. Yes, oh, this one comes with a little toy dinosaur. Oh, this is really cute. Let's open this up right away and have a look. So here is the cute little dino that we got inside. And this definitely looks like a toy plushy dino figure. And I think it is really, really cute. <laughs> and let's have a look at the actual figure of Hirano. Hirano definitely looks like it's contemplating here. It has that expression down to a T. 
and was just wearing a very simple outfit that a lot of kids would wear. It looks like just a jacket and some jeans, and I really love the color choices to this one. It is very realistic looking, I think. And I like the position too. It's sitting down and it has its knees curled up in its arms. It's a very natural position and I think it looks so lifelike and real. And this one has red hair too, although a bit different color than the one called the crow. And it has a beautiful woven beanie on its head. And the eyes on this one, as I said, look like they're contemplating something. That's definitely the expression I'm getting. I really like this figure and I love that it has the dino with it. It's really cool. So let's have a look at the card. This one is called Staring, which is the one I thought it was. It definitely looks like it is staring. And here is all four of our Hirano the Other One figures. I'm really excited by the ones that we got. I think they're really interesting and as I said, they're a lot different style compared to a lot of other Pop Mart figures, which actually makes them stand out in a good way. And I love how lifelike and real the eyes are. They have such expression and emotion being conveyed on them and I think that is just so beautiful. What do you think about this series? Do you like this style or is it not your thing? The more comic book drawn kind of sketchy style. Definitely it's a lot more grittier than the other Pop Mart series that they have, but I really like it. I've definitely seen some people take some beautiful, like incredible pictures with these ones. I think figures like this are so good if you're going to be taking pictures of them because the faces have such a beautiful expression and a lot of emotions in them. I'll link right now to one of the photographers that I follow on Instagram. The work is so beautiful. I love it. They always put them in miniature scenes and it's always so beautiful so check out that instagram if you're interested and yeah let me know down below what do you think of this series do you want me to unbox more and definitely my favorite is the ghost <laughs> I'm so excited I got that one. I wish I had gotten some of the other ones that I was really excited to get, but I do like all four that I ended up getting and I didn't get the marionette, which is the one I really didn't want. So I'm excited to have these and I definitely think I would contemplate buying more of them. I hope you have a good night and a good rest of your day. Mm -hmm.